this is Aiden's Toy Truff and we're here with another package to open in our mail call series. Uh, this box came from Russia. I'm not exactly sure what it says, but most of the packages that I've received from Russia have had um, this lettering and pattern on them, so they might get some pretty cool boxes from their uh, postal system. Now, this box um, came from an artist. That I have purchased it from before. Her name is Anna, and her last name starts with a Z. And I, uh, I can't pronounce it, and I can't remember it, but I will put it and spell it in the description so that you can check Anna's work out for yourself. This is a set of two custom horses. They have actually um, been sitting around my living room for about a week. Uh, I wanted to open them on video, and I am finally getting around to having time to do that. So we'll get them opened up for you. Now this, I'm not sure, this kind of looks like um, either the uh, print wrap or like the cellophane wrap that you put onto food to keep it fresh, interesting. It's always quite a interesting to see what other countries use for packaging because I know that not all countries uh, have the easy accessibility to the popcorn and the bubble wrap that we do so sometimes they use different packing supplies I can see that underneath this there is definitely some bubble wrap but it's kind of difficult to get unwrapped here so sorry I apologize that it's taking me so long Looks like we got the first layer off. Oh, now the next layer. And we have some bubble wrap. One piece in particular that I really, really love. It's a custom Gillen full that was remade rolling and painted to a beautiful detailed uh, leopard Appaloosa. But um, I purchased some other pieces from Anna that uh, arrived broken in the mail. And um, I sent them back to Anna for repairs and they came back broken again. So, I'm really holding my breath on these two and I'm hoping that they made it intact because I really do adore her work, but it seems to be rather fragile. This looks like, I'm going to say toilet paper. And I can, it's not unusual, but I can smell um, the paint or the sealant that she used and oh no we just had a peg fall out so something's definitely broken in here I'll put this peg over here just so I don't lose it I'm kind of afraid that and our appendage is going to fall out on me and I don't want that to break when it falls. But here we have, this is the, um, the Gillen foam mold that was originally sculpted by Bridget Eberle. She's really cute. Let's see, I'm thinking she might have come through in pretty good condition other than that one little peg that broke off. But um, that would be a fairly easy fix. Um, she's got a lot of subtle re-sculpting to her. She has uh, a new mane, a new tail, feathers. You can see the little wrinkles up on her head. Oh, and I guess it's a he. Sorry. He has wrinkles up on his head. Very nice detailing. We'll put him aside. And what I have here is his mother. This is also in the um, kind of shrink wrap type material. 
Now, um, this pair was done as a Frisian pair. And it was offered for sale on model horse sales pages. And I am a huge fan of Baroque horses. Um, I don't have a Frisian, but I do have an Andalusian mare. And, well, Frisians are Baroque. And I love them too. So I just, I couldn't help myself when I saw Anna post them for sale. Because they were just so, so beautiful. Actually, come to think of it, I believe that I also have a, um, a stone Alborozo from that Anna. And um, he's a really gorgeous double blade. I'm thinking that I will have to do a video of all of the pieces that I have by Anna. Uh, two are currently out for repairs. Um, I'm a little nervous about getting them shipped back to me. Shipping is so expensive and they've been shipped out a couple times. But they are, one is a Clydesdale mare and a double grey Tobiano Pinto. And um, she's really pretty. And the other one it was an Akultucky and it was made from, I want to say Carrick. It might have been the Lonesome Glory mold, but I believe it was Carrick. Um, he has a pretty glowing sooty buckskin. He broke a leg and the Clydesdale mare broke a leg and an ear. So it's kind of heartbreaking when you receive something like that in the mail. The foal, as you can see, he broke a peg, but that's not too big of a deal. I, I might be able to fix that one, <laughs> but I don't do any extensive sort of repairs. I'm not talented enough to do that. Let me see, uh oh, see a little piece of epoxy with black paint. So I'm going to th say that something on this horse is broken or chipped. Oh no, it's her tail. Gosh darn. See her tail's just hanging on by a hair there, so I will definitely have to get that professionally repaired. That's a bummer. I'm so sad because she's so beautiful. I was hoping to show this gal at Briar West coming up in March, but that obviously isn't going to happen. I can show you her anyway. She is a uh, custom briar valentine, or I'm trying to think what the other name, gazelle. The foal is Gillen and the mare is gazelle. She's got really nice re-sculpting. You can see the wrinkles here, and she's, Anna is such a talented sculptor. She puts a lot of detail into her work. She's got the wrinkles up there on her face. She's got a uh, little hairs in her ears. She's got a beautiful new mane and the prettiest feathers on her feet. And let's take a closer look at her tail. Um, it looks like it looks like it was reinforced with wire because I can see the the little bit of copper wire kind of showing through there. Um, I'm not sure what the best course of action for repairing this will be since it's Obviously a weak spot. I don't know if I can get the tail off because I wouldn't want it to reship her and have it uh, bang against her body. So we'll just, there's her tail, which is actually really nicely sculpted. And hopefully this won't be too bad of a repair since the hole is drilled and the tail came off cleanly and is on wire. It just, um, needs to be resecured. So this is the mare. And I'm going to put aside her sit tail with the foals peg so I don't lose that. I just got uh, some more epoxy falling but I think that was all from her tail. This is the beautiful Frisian mare by Anna. Maybe we can get it angle down here so you can see her. And then this is her little matching foal. Uh, I do need names. 
So if you have any names, please put them in the comments. These guys are Frisians and they're black. Um, so I would think there would be a lot of name opportunities. Oh, that's right, this guy doesn't stand without his peg. But maybe, maybe I can get him fixed up and shown. Uh, I just, this horse is so, so beautiful and just, I'm so sad about her tail. But, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. And we will be back with more custom videos because I have a lot of horses to open. Thanks so much for watching.